hello namaste from india so how are you sir how are you doing amazing jay uh we, we were a little tired because it has been quite a day it has been a very long day long day for you very long morning for me i, I barely slept helping uh, you out we were with the teams till um what time was it like uh 1 30 p.m in no uh, two o'clock two o'clock in in india no 1 30 p.m india PM. time 1 30 p.m indian time which was three o'clock in the morning here in this side of the world so we finished and then we were able to to do all the judging results are here so we're gonna see the results so yes. whenever you're ready my friend we're ready to see those yes sir please carry on you okay can share your okay i'm gonna go ahead and share my screen right now um Okay, so in order to, I'm going to show the first four places. These are, listen to this. We had 19 teams in total. From nine, those 19 teams, only, only, only four teams submitted on time, submitted on time under, um, under the 90 minutes. Okay? okay, only four teams did, only four teams did. So, what we're going to do is we're going to show those four teams, even though we only give prizes to the four teams. So we're going to go and show these four teams. Um, we have this one. Sorry about this. Okay. So the first three places. <laughs> Not four. Uh, we're going to show the four place just yeah. to show it. Okay, okay. Because they did turn it on time. So we're going to see it. This is the team Havas Iskram from uh, Malaysia. Malaysia. Malaysia, fourth place for Malaysia. We're going to see it now. Okay, can we hear can we hear no. the explanation? I don't know if I no. put the video, the, the audio. So I'm gonna do it again. These are the things that only happen in a live uh, event, right? <laughs> like always. Okay, now we have it. So let's let's continue with his explanation. I still variable which a box and oblique. The value of box is 200 millimeter. Meanwhile, the value of oblique is 285 millimeter. I also use multiply operator so that it's easy for me to count the box. Now let me show you how the robot moves. I like the fact that he applied some mathematical functions and formulas to it. So it was very clear that he did work on it and he was uh, already looking for the best. So the robot will it. send the blue disc to the bottom and we send the red disc to the right side of the map. I'm going to explain something because some people are going to say, look, but it's not perfect. Uh, just to let you know, what was the challenge? The challenge was to make the, uh, put the, the disc, we forgot, well, we already show it in the previous video that we're going to see here in the, in the premiere. They were supposed to form a red square with the uh, red disc, a green square with the green disc, and that line with the blue ones. So at the end, the robot will stay in the red box. Okay, that's all from me. I hope you enjoy my presentation. Thank you. And okay, very good. I we did. did enjoy his presentation. It was very good. So this is what some people is going to say. Look. But it's not a perfect square. According to the instruction, it didn't say a perfect square, just in the position shown. And as long as it's in the little square, the yeah. disc, we accepted. We, we were okay with that because for the most part, they did the challenge. So this, uh, we're going to see the time later, but he did, this person did will, will, uh, really well, this kid, and he got the fourth place. So now, third place, are you ready? Yeah, yeah, sir. 
I'm really excited this, to see the this new is a, a truly international tournament because the third place, of course, our third place is the Team Dragon Force with our friend Matheus Dario Beleza Cara Beleza. So we got third place, and we're going to explain why this third place is so special later on when we see okay. the whole results because somebody made a mistake and because of that mistake they didn't get the third place and he did yeah. he was actually the fourth person to submit he was in the third one he was the fourth one but because of that mistake he got the third place so we're gonna see what he did hi i'm mateus from equipe dragon forest in brazil and this is my code i use some functions to get the color you, you, you cannot listen to him very well but he's playing well, sir, all the listening. python code uh, make uh, making curves and trying to reduce the time i will show later uh, when demonstrating um, function to deliver it's really similar to the function to capture in the case of uh, red and green discs and the blue and the function for blue discs uh, was uh, made uh, uh, with entire new logic for this challenge amazing now i will show uh, my code I, I think he did a good, really good job first it starts with Doing the all that position is not easy. one it's not easy. The positions I mean, really for the capture that. function is, uh, are designed like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 for both sides. And the code ignores the position 0 and 5, uh, ignoring uh, these uh, green disks and, and these red disks. Okay. And continue. So basically, uh, using he declared the, variables the and he defined the function to, uh, to do those type make of things. the challenge. That was amazing. I think he did a really good job. About the code, it's like this the values for this function. Uh, uh, I knew for tests, uh, use trigonometric mathematics, and this is it. The code went soon. It's Something so very precise important. while moving without touching the yeah. walls. So and, precise. And it's very precise. And uh, remember one that minute, one of the uh, um, things they had to do it was finish seconds. in the red square. Thank you. They have yeah. to be sure they could finish in the red square. And they did. Okay. We're going to talk about that later. Later. Uh, because that's the reason between the third and the fourth place fourth in place. this particular challenge. Actually, the person who was supposed to get the third place got disqualified, pretty much got a, an invalid challenge because that was a requirement. That was a requirement. requirement. They didn't do it, so. so let's go. Second place. You're guessing where from? Where from? Where do you think it's from? Second I think place, second. It, it will be from Brazil only. Brazil. Yes, it was from Brazil, our neighbor country actually do you know it's right our uh, in borders with colombia brazil as well so i'm going to go ahead and show these brazil but they are uh, can you remind me uh, where we're from let's just uh, remember they are from brazil i don't have here the the city but curitiba i think no Curit uh, curitiba? there no. was a name of that city macay Masai. Ah, okay. Yes, I think I think okay. Dragon Force is from Curitiba, and, and there Cur this one is Curitiba. from Manor. Yes. Okay. So let's let's see it. Hi, I'm wow. Kaya. I'm from Brazil, and I'm here to show you how the way that I make the challenge. So I'm going to start the the program, and I will explain the code right as the robot do all the tasks. Okay, so here the robot will go to the main area where other disks are at and they'll set up this array. We have uh, four informations. The one 
the first two are the location of the disk at the beginning of the round. So they know where to go to pick it up. And the last two are where the disk have to be in the end of the round. So it knows where to take it. And after that, the robot goes to and repeat loop so it can pick the disks up and place it. To pick, I make this personalized uh, block, the name disk, you can see right here, that basically uh, decides where, where to move the robot to go to the right position. And you can see that depend, uh, depending on where the block are located, they go they will do a certain way here's the the robot uh after doing the the challenge i think we're going to leave it there you continue explaining a little bit more in depth yeah. the this look that the video is under th three minutes it's under three minutes yeah that helps yeah remember maximum is was three minutes so they did second place. I think that was amazing. They did a really good job. Brazil representing Latin America in this, this real extravaganza. Kudos for them. Amazing job they did. And now, now, now we're going to present the winner. The winner, 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 chicken dinner. <laughs> winner, Representing, winner, chicken dinner. making proud the homeland from India. Our wow. friend Treyas Savage. So we're going to see what Treyas did. He was actually the first one to submit. He okay. submitted, and we're going to see the times, long time before the second place. Okay? Long time before the second place. So that was very good. We At the beginning, we were Jay and I, we were kind of concerned that after 45 minutes, nobody was submitting, and we're like, what is happening? And then he submitted like a minute after. So we're going to see Shreyas in action. Okay. Hello, everyone. My name is Shreya Salge. And today I'm going to tell you how I did the competition of Robojam India. And the task was all the green this should be here, all the red should be here, and all the blue should be here. So the task I have done, uh, I will run and show you. So this is the task. So I have taken some uh, my blocks for all the colors. For blue, it should work. It should, it was four because all the all all this should be in the entrance of the castle. So green this two of them were in the right place, and red this two were in the right place. So I have coded. Uh, I have taken two for green and two for red. After that, I have taken an end and for end. Uh, for starting up, I have done uh, drive velocity and turn velocity. I have uh, done it full and I have drive forward for 700 and then turn right. And from there, it will go 500 minus X location. Means that for where I have to go minus where I am. Uh, okay. where I have to go to the location of 500 of X location and where I am, I am in the X location of from this uh, sensing block. We can, we can count where we are. So after this, we are going, going to in the middle after going to middle we are going to drop location for so after drop location it will again go for the middle after going to middle after going to middle it will go for every block every block okay and for the end point i have done that it will turn to adding zero and drive reverse 700 okay so okay why i have done that because in the uh, in the task it was given that it should be in the red box. The robot should be in the red box. See. Very good. Okay, my task is done. The robot should be in the red box. My robot should is, is in the red box. So my code is done. Thank you. Thank you so much. And namaste from India. Namaste. Namaste. Treyas. Treyas. Amazing. Thank you did an amazing job. Some teams are going to say, look, there was a technical fault penalty if you touch anything different from the disk. He does touch some disc on the way down, but that was okay. That was allowed. What was not allowed was to touch the walls or those little boxes that look like a castle. So everything else, it was fine. Okay. It's still, he did it. And we're going to see the times right now. So we can see, are you ready for the, all the results? Yes, sir. 
So we got here all the results, all the results that are here, sorry. So all the results. So we got, fortunately, two teams that were not able to submit. Um, I mean, it was way past the time anyway. So uh, Rakshati and ICT STEM, three girls from uh, Malay, uh, Tunisia. India and Tunisia. And Tunisia, yes. Okay, apart from that, then we have eight teams with invalid challenges. And this is what we're, the, that's what I was explaining before. You're gonna see there is a team that turning in in 71 minutes. So by time it could have been the third place. But what happened? When he submitted the video, the robot didn't finish in the red box, in the red square, like Treyas just explained. That was a requirement. That was a requirement. So if you don't, you didn't do that, it's like you didn't do anything at all. And it's a shame because he did a really good job, but he forgot that last step. And it was the last step. That, that was it. He forgot that last step and that's it. That made him not to finish. It's like, it doesn't matter if you run a marathon and you're first, if you don't cross the line, the finish line, you didn't win. Yep. Yes. If you stop right before the finish line, it's like you didn't do anything. So that was the problem. Okay. So you're going to see there also, apart from the teams that had invalid challenges for different reasons, that was already sent to the teams, that was already uh, with a rubric. We send it to the teams. They already have time to appeal, all that. Apart from that, we have five teams that submitted out of time. Okay, remember time was 90 minutes. If you submit it after the 90 minutes, it doesn't, it doesn't matter if you record it before the 90 minutes, you have to submit it before the 90 minutes. Okay, so it doesn't matter if you record it and then you forgot to submit. I'm sorry, my friend, that's your own mistake. Okay, and the four teams that we just showed, which were as fourth place, Malaysia, third place for Brazil, second place to Brazil, and first place for India. So those are the teams. Those teams, just to let you, just to remind you, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you here really quick in the RoboJam page. Okay. You're gonna see it. It's not updated. It's not updated yet. It's gonna appear in our ranking. Okay, we do have a global ranking, so we will post those scores in a moment. We do have a global ranking, and you will appear in the global ranking and also by challenge. Okay, global ranking and by challenge. Also in the in the ranking by challenges, we do have the records. So far, the record for uh, this drill is seven minutes. Of course, we didn't make a record here, so that's all we. Uh, all the information that is going to be there. So that's it, Jay. So what do you think? Yes. How, what do you think of the competition? It is going to be very tough in October because the guy who has completed in seven minutes, I'm really interested to know how he did it in seven minutes because <laughs> I'm also a professional programmer. You are also a professional programmer. Yep. Whenever you see some task, it you will consume a few minutes to understand how to solve this task. So... And yes, you, as you told me that that kid was of ten years old. My God! No, no, he was no the one who got the one who won uh, the seven minutes. He's uh fifteen or sixteen. He's already okay. like sixteen. But look, look at what happened. This kid, he competed along with his sister. His sister got okay. second place. His older sister. His sister is already in college, and he's okay. finishing high school this year. So his sister is older than him, and. He, uh, his sister did 15 minutes and he did seven. So he did way better than his sister. And they were in the same place. They were telling me how they did it. They were in the same place. He was in his room programming. He, uh, she was in her room programming. And when he finished, he's like, knock on the door. I'm like, I'm done. And she's like, what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but but let me tell you, RoboJam All Stars, these three teams can't, credentials, a free voucher for RoboJamo Stars. This event is invitation only, meaning 
only the teams that have won the invitation can be there. You cannot pay the registration to be there like you do in other tournaments. You have to win in one yes. of the national tournaments to be able to, to be there. Just to remind the teams, we have Philippines next week. Registrations are closed for Philippines. We're going to have 67 teams there. We have registrations for Bolivia open in two weeks. Okay, they're open. Registrations, send us an email. Send us an email for, or go to robojam.live. You're going to see over there the information for Bolivia. Bolivia has seven different challenges. Amazing. Believe me, Bolivia is going to be amazing. After Bolivia, we have Panama that is going to have four challenges. Then we have uh, Argentina that's going to have four challenges as well, five challenges actually. And then we have Mexico and Spain on the same day sharing the credit. They already agree on how they're going to do. They're going to do some interesting, some interesting stuff between the two competitions. So I'm actually very looking forward what it's going to be like. Uh, this is RoboJohn's first year. And so far, we have had more than a thousand, more than a thousand participants. Okay, so we're super excited. We're very happy. We want to thank all the teams that took their time and are part of RoboJam India, the big drill extravaganza this time. So I think that's it, Jay. I think we're good. Yeah. I just want to tell one thing for all the students. Don't give up. Okay. Right. In competition, there will be a result. Like either you are going to win or either you are going to lose. But you should take your losing part as a positive point. Okay. You have to learn. At least at the end of the day, you will learn something new. You will have something new in your mind. Okay, I could have done this task in this way. So better when you participate next time, better improve yourself. Yes, okay. I agree. Okay, so that being said, we want to thank all the teams. Have a good day. Have a good night. Have a good noon, wherever you are. Take care. Yeah. Ah, and and once, before we yeah. go, the RoboJam, the RoboJam uh, salute. Okay. Yes. Well, the RoboJam salute Wait on the count minute, of three. <laughs> yeah. In the count of three, my friend. One, two, three. Ro. Ro. Bo. Jam. Jam. There we go. <laughs> Have a good day, everybody. Have a good day and namaste from India once again. Have a nice day. Enjoy. <laughs>